everyone, it's Crypto Dabby here answering your questions on cryptocurrency related matters. Now, by the looks of things, a lot of people want to find out how to find new crypto coins. So we're probably talking about new coin launches, new ICOs, because some of the biggest success stories in crypto have come from people who have bought brand new coins at the launch uh, and then held on to them and then um, this is when you get right in at the ground floor and there's a lot of upside potential. Now, there's also a huge problem with hunting around for ICOs and new launches and things like that is that there are plenty of scams and there are plenty of coins that go to zero. So you have to be really careful, do heaps of research. Um, and I'm going to show you five or six different tools that I use uh, on, on an almost daily basis to just sniff around and uh, hunt out some new coins. And I have just a very small portion of my portfolio that I use uh, to throw into some of these. So it might only be, you know, 5% of my entire crypto portfolio. I might allocate to throwing in, you know, 50 or 100, or if I think something's really promising, maybe 500 or a grand into a new project. So first of all, uh, one of the easiest ones is just coinmarketcap.com slash ICO dash calendar slash upcoming. And this will give you, I'll just refresh this. This will give you a countdown style list of all the new launches that are going on. So we can see here that uh, there's one starting in four hours. Here's a Solana startup. So you can click on that there and I will usually try and find a link under community to their Twitter. Check how many Twitter followers the project has. If it's well over a few thousand, it's generally um, pretty clear that it's not a complete scam. Um, although just because they have a lot of Twitter followers doesn't mean a whole lot because you can purchase uh, Twitter followers as well. So I'd normally dig around in their Discord, their Telegram, look at their website, usually use my intuition uh, into, so their, their website's got bandwidth exceeded, means probably too many people are trying to visit uh, their website. Um, but I just use my discretion. Sometimes uh, I look at their website and it starts letting off a few alarm bells. It looks a bit scammy. So the second one is the Gate.io, uh, which is a centralized exchange the great thing about Gate.io is that they have a launch pad. Uh, you just go to start up here on the front page. These are new crypto ICOs that are launched through the Gate.io. And a lot of these have been really successful. Now to um, be able to get in at the ICO stage on these or the, the pre-sale, you have to have traded a certain amount on this exchange and hold some of their native token. But I've found that these pre-sales always get oversold. Look at this one here. It's over its capacity by 37,000%. Uh, so they've got 377x more than they were asking for. Even if you don't qualify for these pre-sales, they don't turn out to be that good because of the people overselling them. So you get a very small portion there. But what I like to do is go to the front page of Gate.io. And then I like to click on this newly listed tab because this will actually not be just newly listed. This will show you the coming soon. So these are basically all of those um, launch pad ones there they will then be listed to, for the public sale. And, and quite often these things pump uh, one, two, five, ten 10 X on listing. So I'm, I usually pop these in my calendar and I'm there ready at the time uh, with a bit of USDT or whatever the trading pair is. You can click on this. So this is a USDT and I'm just market buying the second it goes live. And I've done really well. So this one's got a seven hour countdown. So I'll put that in my phone and I'll come jump on gate IO and I'll just start market buying the second that it goes on the market. And I've, I've got some almost instant two, three, four and five X's out of this it can be really fun. Okay. So another website uh, that I don't use as often, but sometimes it's nice to just have a look. Uh, this is a nicely set out website is called icodrops.com. This will have uh, active ICOs, upcoming ICOs and ended ICOs. So you can actually do some research about ones that have already been launched and you can see 
how they went. Uh, and another couple of little uh, tricks that I have used personally, some of the best uh, projects that I've stumbled upon have just come from being on crypto Twitter. So if you've got a Twitter account, just start following a bunch of the major crypto influencers. You don't have to go far to find them. Um, but I, sometimes I just search for hashtag ICO or uh, upcoming sale or things like that. And then you'll often find some random things that you can then look into. So I've never heard of this one here, whatever this is. So they've got almost 2000 followers. Um, so I can probably go and do five or 10 minutes research into this. And if I think it looks promising, I might just throw a little bit at it. You never know. Sometimes I've I've only gone in with a couple of hundred and I've, I've done a 10x. Other times I've gone into these and um, they've done nothing or they've gone, you know, I've lost half my investment or they've gone to zero. So they can be, they're like on the bleeding edge of crypto, um, these new projects. Another um, site obviously is Reddit. And I like uh, having a bit of a sniff around in the cryptocurrency ICOs group. Um, and there's a couple of other, there is a r slash ICO as well. Um, there's a bunch of, of crypto related, but these, you have to be really careful because, you know, people who are launching coins will put their stuff up here and they'll really talk it up and they'll try and sell it. So you really have to do tons of your own research, dig around in their telegram, go on their Twitter, look at their website, read their white paper. If they've got one, having a doxed team is better, which means that they're publicly showing their names and who they are. So this, I mean, I've lost out really badly joining some ICOs uh, that have literally gone to zero. So be careful, do your research. One last way that I find trending coins and new coins is by just typing in words like cryptocurrency into Google Trends. So Google Trends is a tool. So let's type in cryptocurrency. Uh, Google Trends is a free tool by Google. Just type in Google Trends into uh, your browser and then type for a search for a topic like cryptocurrency or altcoin or something like that. And then what I do is I set where this says what country you're in. I set this to worldwide and then I set this to the past uh, one day or the past seven days. And then this will show some trending searches. And I found things that I've never uh, heard of before uh, on this list here. And you can you can flip through these and see what people are, are typing into Google almost today. I can I can do this for today and see what's let's go the past four hours, see what people are, are looking for in the past four hours when it comes to crypto. So we've got GRQ crypto. So let's see what, they, what we can go to, like CoinGecko or something. Q, let's see if it's here. GRQ. So it's not even there. So let's type it into the browser. GRQ Crypto. And then, okay, so we've got some videos we can look at. So there's obviously something going on here. It looks like it's an AVAX coin on the Avalanche network. So this is a good way to find out about these. And, and then I'll go in and obviously start doing some, you know, due diligence and some research. So there's about six or seven tools that you can use um, to search for new ICOs. Um, and you have to be so careful, just never, never put in uh, any amount of investment that you can't afford to lose in the ICO space because it's almost guaranteed half of these will, it's like brand new, the launches and new companies, half of these won't do anything or they'll go to zero. Some of them might sit and stay the same and a couple of them might do really well in my experience. So make sure you check out my disclaimer. Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just some dude on the internet. But uh, that's how I find these new tokens. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out all the links in my description for all of my socials. Come and follow me on Twitter uh, and TikTok and things like that where I put out uh, some new content every day and uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you found this content helpful and I'll see you next time.